Hello there. The piece that's piqued their interest has been in Chrissy Thornhill's family for two centuries. It's come down the Thornhill family from my five times grandfather. Wow. Who was born in 1752, and he was a sea captain. So, Chrissy, what work needs doing to this thing? It has got rather a nasty crack right across the front. Also, the front drawer comes down into a desk, which, as you can see, it puts it in wow. need of a little bit of attention, <laughs> yeah. I think. And then um, the top? The top has got so much history. I mean, all those scratches and marks and everything, that to sort of have all of those go, I think it would lose some of the history. So. I don't know what you can do, but I'm sure you can do something that some of that will will still be there. It is really nice to keep a lot of this uh, old scratches and marks and everything else rather than it looking too brand new. However, I do think that the front is pretty bleached out by the sun I... and it'd be quite nice to have it looking like mahogany rather than a bit of beach. That would be wonderful, you know. yes. 200 That's... years of history. I know. Exciting. It is. As a writer, to be able to sit at something that has so much connection with the past and, and my family down through the generations, I'm sure it's just going to be so hugely inspirational. Now I've had a chance to look at the inside, there seems to be a lot more work than I first thought. For one, I'm actually worried, feeling the surface here, you feel that there's a bit of lipping there where the wood has moved and warped and changed. So that's even more time, more work and everything else. With so much to do, Will's press ganged Steve into action. We don't have a master key, unfortunately. To help unlock the chest's full potential by finding a replacement for the missing key. One of the problems with laying leather is even a tiny bit of dirt will show up on the surface. It's really unforgiving. As more problems emerge, it's all hands on deck as the team try to get it ship shape in time for collection. I found uh, an old key. Yeah. Um, the, the bit was uh, not quite long enough. The wards were in the right place. The um, wards are? The wards are the cutouts. Cutouts. Yeah. What I did, I uh, hard soldered another bit on the end there to extend it. And uh, works perfectly. There you go, sir. So you can already see how dirty the surface is. There's something quite rewarding about doing this. I'm just uh, doing the finishing touches now. I'm so happy with the colour. I think I was quite nervous um, about the colour in the beginning. I mean, it looks like an even kind of colour top, so after buffing this up, it's going to be good to go. Oh, Mum, look at that. Oh, how lovely. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Oh. And a key in it. Yeah, colour is super, and they've just kept so much of everything. That crack at the front, I mean, you just, you can't spot it at all. I mean, it's like magic. Oh, yes, and it's lovely green. Isn't it? Oh, how it's lovely. Popular. Well, I'm looking forward to sitting and writing on that. You'll be inspired. Are you pleased? Oh, I'm delighted, my love. Yeah. Oh, that's it. What's that? Oh, a pen. Oh. A notebook to Chrissy, something to inspire your writing with love, the repair shop. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's so kind. This is where I'm going to write my bestseller, and I probably start it on the pages of this wonderful book. <laughs>